With potentially record-setting low temperatures on the way, health officials cannot stress enough tonight about the fact that you need to take this weather threat seriously. WSBT's Rachel Lake has more tonight from the live desk. Rachel? Yeah, that's right, Diane. Doctors say you can get hypothermia within minutes and frostbite even quicker than that. There are a number of things you can do, though, to stay safe. Roger Powell knows how to stay warm. Sweatshirt, a coat. And that's exactly what doctors encourage people to wear in this cold weather. You want multiple layers, even if they're thin layers. And you want to cover every square inch of skin. Dr. David Grellman grew up in Canada. I used to know that I had frostbite when I could tap on my cheek and it clinked as if I was clicking on hard plastic. He had mild frostbite. The pain is comparable to a sunburn. But the longer a person is exposed to the cold, the worse it gets. Initially, it stings and burns. Then it, then it goes numb. Too much tissue damage can lead to amputation, which is why Grauman says you need to warm up as soon as possible before the frostbite gets too deep. I mean, it can eventually go beyond the skin into the muscle, into the tendons. Um, even to the bone. Another cold weather danger, hypothermia, when your body temperature drops below 95 degrees. Your judgment often fails. Hypothermia can be deadly if you don't find a warm place fast. If these cold temperatures are something that you don't have equipment for, that you don't have clothing for, you should respect it just the way you do a fire and avoid it. Powell can't avoid it. His job requires him to work outside, but he takes nothing for granted. When it gets as cold as it's going to get the next couple of days, you really got to be careful. Now also, when treating frostbite, don't rub the affected area. Grauman says that'll only lead to more tissue damage. Boy, it is certainly nothing to mess around with, Rachel. Also, we are learning lots of doctor's offices and medical practices are closing tomorrow because of the weather. Yeah, that's right, Diane. So if people do need help, they'll probably need to go to the ER or 24-hour medical practice. Just one more reason to avoid the problem in the first place. Stay in, stay safe. Thanks, Rachel Lake from the Live Desk tonight.